Hi and hello from the workshop of the Open Youth Organization in Dornbirn, Austria. This is where your camera has been cut. If you have a dark stained camera, it has been stained. And also all little bits and pieces, screws and bolts and nuts and leather pieces has been put into packagings and then finally assembled. A few tips before you start assembling your camera. I keep repeating that, but it's really important to dry assemble the camera first before you glue it together because there are a lot of pieces. So take masking tape, fit all the pieces together just like that with masking tape so you can see and study them. You can see, hmm, are actually all the markings on the outside. For example, here we have two markings for the tension locks. These kind of things you have to really check in advance before you glue. Also, your camera is cut by laser. So there are these edges that look burnt because that's exactly what they are. The laser has cut through the wood. If you touch them, they might stain your finger a little bit. So just wipe them with a dry cloth if you're bothered or wear gloves. Once it's varnished, of course, this doesn't bother you anymore. A few more tips are coming up for you right now. First, if you look at the bottom plate, so that's a bit thicker, yeah? It has either three holes here or one hole. One hole is for the inside of the box and three holes is for the bottom. That's really important because these two holes will later on slide onto the tripod. Now you might have a version where there's an extra cutout here that is an older version where you put in your tripod mount directly in here, okay? For most of you, you will have a version where you can Later on, as an option, if you would like to use not our provided tripod, but a different tripod, screw in a plate like this with the mount. Like so. Our focusing system to attach and to assemble can look a little bit daunting. It's quite easy if you follow our step-by-step -step instructions. Really important is that you put in the sanded glass, so this piece, that you will receive like that with the sanded side yeah, to the front because this is later on where you will put your paper. So the focus lies exactly on that sanded part. All right. You might have received your sanded glass with a protective foil on the back. Maybe you don't even see it, but it's there. Make sure you peel it off before you install it. Okay. So sanded side. Also, if you look at it, there are two extra holes here on the top. Those are for the magnets, so they have to be placed up here, okay? Now, gluing in the magnets is a tiny bit more, I would say, detail oriented because you have to make sure that the polarity is right, because in the end, these magnets should attract each other, yeah? We want this to be tight, because that's where your paper goes in, and we want that paper to be really firm to the glass. Now, you position your magnets here. Yeah. Make sure that they attract each other. You can test that before. And what I do usually, I place the magnets in first without any glue, and then I use super glue, and I let the super glue run just along the magnets because the, the glue will find its way into the cracks. And that means it will really stabilize it in position and you don't make a big mess, okay? You could do the same here. Now important, we have two sides of this hole. One side is where the magnet goes in and the other where the dowel goes in. Because that dowel later on is for our paper holder. So you can slide in those paper holders, which is for different sized papers. So you can slide them on top of the dowels. Okay, so that dowel has to stick out. You can sand it off a little bit if you think it's very long. Um, and on the other side, we have the magnets. So that requires a little bit of detailed work, but that's it, okay? That's the inside of the focus plate. Another tip for your focusing rod. There are these two circular pieces that make your knob. One has a complete hole and the other one half hole. So you glue those together. Yeah? And when you glue those together, you put that in and glue it as well with super glue or contact glue. Now, that might hold if you have a very strong glue, but it's an advice to drill in a hole with a metal drill, with a metal drill bit, so you can also create a little hole in the rod, and then put in a screw. 
So then it's really, really well attached. When you install the focusing rod here and you glue it into the pieces, I suggest you add an extra screw here. It's the same as for the focusing for the knob that you make a hole here, drill a hole into the rod with a metal drill bit and then attach a screw. It will help you to stabilize the rod fully in the focusing frame. So a word on contact glue. Um, there are different types of contact glues. I use this uh, very popular brand. Comes in a tube or a box. This one is yeah, well used as you can see. Now contact glue usually needs some breathing, some airing time. So what I would do, I'm going to attach now this front piece on my paper box is I apply the glue first on the box and on the leather and then I let it rest for about five minutes and then I attach it together. So let's do that. Just a little bit. You could use a tiny spatula. It would help because you don't need much of that. Okay. And a little bit here on that leather piece. Okay. That's it. Okay, so they should be dried now and I'm going to place them on. If you have excess glue spilling on the edges, remove it now before it's dried because when it's dried it might remove your uh, paint. I painted this box black with spray paint. And now we have these two holes here on the front. That's for the nails we provide, put in the nails put in the screw here and that's done. So that's how you use contact glue. Now, an important thing to uh, observe when you install the frame here for your camera, this is my Mexico camera edition that I decorated with pieces I bought in Mexico while using the camera. So installing this frame, make sure that these sides here are really the correct ones. Here we have the third hole, yeah, the third hole for the focusing rod, that's important, so that's in the back. And on this side, it's important to observe that this position has less space than this position. You'll see it when you pick up that piece, this has more space, this has less space. And it corresponds exactly with here, where there's less space as well. Okay, So that's important for this part. In your tripod package, you have this little piece, or most of you have it. With the older version, you don't because you don't really need it. This is just an extra idea we had as a positioning tool for your tripod. So basically, on the tripod legs, there is two versions. Yeah, both have the same function. It's just that on this version, we created an extra positioning for your leather belt, that strap around. So that positioning tool is basically if you want to pre-drill inside here, yeah, with a wood drill, the exact center position for the screws. Yeah. If you're good with your eye, you can figure out the center, just place it in the center and screw it in the center here, okay? And the same goes if you don't have this part and you use this part, you can make up the position. I say like four to five centimeters downwards, that's fine. And you go into the center and you drew you drill in, you screw in the center here, and that's where the belt later on goes in, okay? So that's what this little piece is for. It's if you want to pre-drill with a mini wood drill your position, you can do that, but the wood is stable enough, you can also just, you know, screw the screws in. So that's fine, you have the option. In your tripod package, where all your screws, bolts and everything are in for the tripod. There are a lot of big bolts. Um, just to explain to you, we have several types. We have the very, very large one that connects the plate on the very top to the three legs. That's the thickest one. We go one step down, you have the thinner but very long one and one step down, you have the shorter one, okay? And then there's one individual one that goes and connects the camera with the tripod plate. So those are the bolts and nuts in your tripod package.